Remember Peter? Everybody's in the boat. And Peter, being Peter, says, Lord, if it is you, bid me or allow me to walk in the water with you. And so Peter walked in the water. How many disciples or apostles or disciples walked on water? Only Peter. Only Peter can guide them. The stronger our faith, the closer our intimacy with God, the clearer His voice, the harder the demand, the mission impossible, so we thought, but willingly and boldly we obey. Why? Because of our faith. Okay? And our intimacy with God. A lot of us say, you know, I, I don't hear the word of the Lord. That's the thing with me. I don't. I wish, you know, we can see in the cloud that says, Excel. This is what you do for the rest of your life, right? It doesn't go like that. Everything comes down by your faith and how you relate with God. You see, but the stronger our faith, the closer our intimacy with God in a sense that you know the Lord. Now, how do you know the Lord? You're, you're addicted to His Word. Amen. You're addicted to His Word. The clearer his voice. There are people that hear the word of God. They said, they claim. And I'm not questioning them. Don't get wrong. Right? They can see it in a vision. They dream dreams. Right? They can see it. But not that I question them. Right? Not that I question them. But you know, I always say that the revelation of God through the Holy Spirit should not contradict the revelation of God through his holy word. Amen. And I always stick to the Holy Word. Why? It is clear. It is already written. I, I'm not going to catch them in the air. No. It is already here. That is why I encourage young people and, and older people. We need to master the Word of God. You see, works qualify and disqualify us. And can verify such faith by the absence of such work in our lives. If you have no interest about God. Don't claim that you know the Lord. Right? Don't claim that you will go to heaven with Jesus Christ. Why? You have no interest in knowing the Lord. Mm -hmm. right? Justification by work will not stand on its own. As salvation is by grace alone through faith in Jesus Christ. What justification by works justify is the faith that was claimed to have exist. That faith was justified by the resulting action. You see, our salvation is justified by faith alone. And this faith is justified by works. There you go. I keep on saying that. Do you have the interest and the passion about Jesus Christ? You've got to ask yourself, okay? Or ask the person beside you. Do you have the passion and interest? Talk to your person. Talk to the person beside you. Ask them. Do you know or do you, do you love to know His words and His promises as well as His commands? Our salvation is through faith in Christ alone. The authenticity and genuineness of such faith is by words. We memorize Ephesians 2.89. What about, about 2.10? What about Ephesians 2.10? You see, after salvation, God said that we are God's workmanship created in Christ to do good works which God prepared in advance for us to do. You see, we are saying not to sit down and critical your people or those who stand over here. We are saying to do good works. In Greek, it is called poema. P-O-E-M-E. -E. And it's derived from the word, we get the word poem. Right? You don't make poem by just writing, you know, you take time. Rhymes, the number of syllables. And in, after salvation, we become in Christ Jesus to do good works. Our work, there is work to be done for us after salvation. Right? It is not just to sit there, but to do good works. Okay? To do good works. Salvation results to good works which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them in some version. If a person accepts the gift of salvation in Christ Jesus, 
We become God's workmanship. We become God's masterpiece. It means that God is working in our lives. Molding, breaking, chipping, heating. And is dedicated to change us according to His will and plan. You see, when you have given your life to the Lord, yes, our security is in heaven. We have a secure salvation. But if your life is not being changed and you don't feel the pressure from the Lord, then you got to question that. You know why? The Lord said, He whom He loves, He disciplines. He chastises. He breaks it and moves it so that he'll become like his son, the Lord Jesus Christ. It is tough to become a Christian in a living way. It is easy to become a Christian because salvation is a gift that we need to accept. But if you surrender and give your life to the Lord, oh, he will work in you. Right? He will work in you. And you know what? God has prepared something for us to do that is to work. He has a special plan and a purpose for each and every one of us. You see, not all are called to preach. Not all are called to pastor. Not all are called to mission work. We become part of the body that has a special function. Okay? You see, at the year end, Sportsnet has listed the best sports play of 2019. If you've been watching, you know, they keep on playing the best sports play in 2019 in Canada. The number one was when Kawhi Leonard made that famous shot in front of uh, Joel Embiid of Philadelphia. Who, who was watching that? When, when Raptors became uh, like, like proceeded to NBA Finals, right? He went to the side and made that shot, three bounces. And then he went, he went in, right? With clock winding down, he made the shot that caused the Raptors to go to the NBA Finals and eventually the championship. While most notice Leonard making the shot, I have a question. Who passed the ball to him? Who inbounded the ball? Mark Gasol. Imagine if Gasol pass it to MB. That's it, right? You see, in the church, the eyes are mostly on the people that does the ministry in the front. To the point that many desires to be here in the front. But the Bible assured to us that whether we set the chairs, prepare the table for snacks, welcome guests, watch over the kids in the nursery, God sees everything. So this is it. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourselves what? To the work of the Lord. Why? Because you know that your labor is not in vain. Right? Whether you are designated shooter or designated people that pass. Before us, we are a family and we have different function. Right? God save us in Christ to do good works. Opportunities will be open and waiting for us. But we need to choose to walk in them. We need to make a choice to do it. We need to do it. God has prepared for us to do it. But the question is, are you willing to do it? Right? And finally, third point. The third point. Faith, absent of work is death. James chapter 2, 25 to 26. Yeah, the scripture he says, in the same way, was not Rahab the prostitute considered righteous for what she did when she gave lodging to the spies and sent them off in a different direction? Giving lodging to the spot to the spies, sending them off in a different direction, are the result of her faith in the God of Israel. The story is found in Joshua chapter 2. Okay. Okay, Rahab's first encounter with the Israelite spies. She knew how God has been with Israel by the favors God did to them. Now this led Rahab to believe in the God of Israel. Okay? Because of what she heard about this God of Israel that parted the Red Sea, that killed Og and, and the other king. And then he realized, she realized that he says here, for the Lord your God 
is God in heaven and on the earth below. This is her faith. The writer, writer of Hebrews clearly explained why Rahab did what she did and has pointed out as to why Rahab aided the spies. She believed that the God of Israel is the one true God. Says, by, by faith, Hebrews 11.31, the prostitute Rahab, because she welcomed the spies, was not killed with those who were disobedient. Apostle James looked at her words as the evidence of her faith. The writer of Hebrews looked to her faith as the factor that led her to help the Israelite spies. You see, there is no disagreement. There was no contradiction between faith and works. In fact, they complement each other. Faith looks forward to work as its effect. Okay? If you're more of a Paul, Paulinian leaning, right? Talk about faith all the time. But your faith looks forward to work as its effect. We claim to have faith, therefore we will be working. Okay? On the other hand, if you are on the side of James, okay? James looked back to faith as the reason why he works. Okay? There is no disagreement. There is no disagreement. Okay, verse 26, he says, As the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without dead it, or without deeds is dead. That is one thought. So our faith without deeds is dead. And again, I have to remind you that work or deed is not an essential in salvation. Again, right? It is just for justification. To make sure that that is the real faith. That is a genuine faith. It is authenticated by the works that we do. Okay? Having faith in Jesus Christ will result in performing good works that God has planned for you. Ephesians 2.10 Good works is the natural effect of having such faith. We are saved to do good works. We do not do good works to be saved. Okay, let me say it again. We are saved to do good works. But we do not do good works to be saved. Good works without faith in Jesus Christ does not merit salvation. Let me repeat that. Good works without faith in Jesus Christ